You can see a planetary gear reducer which has a square flange is mounting with size availability ranging from size 40 to 220. This gearbox is used to transmit inline motion with reduction and has a torque availability ranging from 17 newton meter to 2200 newton meter with a minimum backlash of one arc minute. The output shaft size can be varied with the size availability from 8 newton meter to 75 newton meter. In this video, we can observe the connection between electric motor and planetary gearbox. The electric motor acts as an input to the planetary gearbox. The output shaft of the motor has a key which is inserted in the gearbox from rear end. The key slides in the input adapter which the slot has pre-provided. The gearbox adapter is directly coupled with the planetary gear set. Let's consider the above gearbox as two-stage SMD planetary gearbox. The output of first planetary gear set is the input of the second planetary gear set and this whole rotary reduction system is supported by ball bearings. Ball bearings acts as an support to output shaft and the key slot is provided to the output shaft. The gearbox selection is done on the basis of motor watt and the torque output required. Before the assembly of motor to gearbox the torque calculations are carried out. After the selection of gearbox the basic calculation of the motor torque to the gearbox torque is done by multiplying the gearbox ratio with the maximum output torque of the motor which gives us the torque received at output shaft of the gearbox after coupling it with motor. Hence all the specification sheet calculations are dependent on the motor maximum output torque. 